towards the penalty area then. Well, this is interesting. Less than a minute on the clock. And two real specialists out there, Paul Gascoigne and John Barnes. Paul Gascoigne sets his sights. Ed De Fui still pretty much a rookie in the Dutch goal. It's his fourth cap tonight. Barnes. Absolutely no chance. What a start for John Barnes. Anything that this one will Palmer epitomising the confidence in the England ranks. Gascoigne who loves to go it alone. Got it back from Platt. And here's Ferdinand. Oh, against the post. And Platt has shown that great gift for goals. England grateful to David Platt again, who picked up the pieces after Ferdinand found the post. It's 2 now. Well, it just gets better and better for England, doesn't it? But the goal was all down to Paul Gascoigne. Look at this for a definite run. Plays it, gets it back, manages to get a foot on it, but look at the acres of space that Ferdinand has. Doesn't rush it, and he's unlucky. But that's why David Platt's been picked to play up front, for that reason alone. Rijkaard sends him inside. That was a first mistake. Not back in Ferdinand was the second, and thinking that David Platt couldn't follow up was a third. For Platt, his 18th. Wouldn't surprise me at half time if Frank Rijkaard has moved forward into midfield and another defender has brought on. Perhaps the Wolf comes on into the, into the back. But there's no use having someone as talented as Rijkaard playing at the back now when you're 2 0 down. Well, certainly not when you cannot afford to lose as the Dutch feel tonight. But Bergkamp has stamped his class on the go. Dennis Bergkamp, named after Dennis Law, a disciple of Glenn Hoddle, and he's bitten the British hand that has guided him, and it's 2-1. This is a fabulous goal. Look at the chip, the weight of it, but it's there. The most difficult skill there to control that volley from that height delicately as he does, really does sit, take some class, a little diagonal run, he knows exactly where Chris Woods is, knows exactly where the goal is, and what a magnificent finish from Dennis Bergkamp. We really have got a game on our hands now, look at that, sheer class. And you can see why the Italian clubs have been chasing him, he has signed for Inter for next against this team of such talent and look at Overmars who was pulling back here it's a penalty against Walker well they can't have any doubts there's Walker the only thing I would say there Martin I wonder if the initial tug started outside the box let's watch it closely they're fighting they're fighting there it is it's at least what a yard yard and a half outside the box the initial pull but Overmars to his credit goes down inside watch it again closely there it is, what is it, two yards outside the box, but it goes down inside the box and from where the referee was, he saw it as a penalty. But you don't often see Des Walker exposed for pace. Mark Overmars, this bright hope of a new era for Dutch football, who has maintained his presence in the game right from the start, has made a crucial intervention here. Well, I said they were living off the front for a young, new Dutch generation, and it was one of them that's given them the opportunity. And now, it's Peter van Vossen with the hopes of the whole of Holland 
with him now. Well, England are willing Chris Woods to make a save here. So yeah, you talk about pressure penalties. Well, they rarely come more important, more important than this one. Van Vossen, who's averaged a goal a game in his five internationals. This to make it six out of six. And he has done. And it is 2-2. Two -two. And Holland have finally got themselves level. And Graham Taylor is moved to go across the track to the touchline to get the heads up for England. I don't know how he feels if it's so much into the second half. But I've not seen many penalties taken in such situations as composed as he took it. Tira van Vossen, such composer, on his substitute. All the experienced heads in this side, look at him, look at that. Shades of John Aldridge, little stutter there. Watches the goalkeeper go one way and tucks it in the other corner.